When we are asleep, the most action most of us take is in the form of rolling over and hogging the blankets. But some people do more. A lot more. These people are known as sleepwalkers, and sleepwalking is pretty crazy when you think about it. Some people will get up and walk around, opening doors and even wandering around the house. Those are the mild sleepwalkers. The extreme sleepwalkers will get up, get dressed, and even drive, or worse. In fact, there have been a number of crimes committed when people have been sleepwalking, ranging from minor to very major crimes, including murder. But why do people sleepwalk in the first place? Are they acting out their dreams, or is there something else going on? Sleepwalking occurs in the first third of the night, when you are in the deepest stages of slumber, called NREM sleep. In this part of the sleep cycle, your brainwaves are slow, and your gray matter is quiet and inactive. During the day, your brain is a beehive of activity, but during NREM sleep, it is barely humming. Your body, however, is still active and hasn't completely quieted down. So, what you are left with is a body that can still move, paired with a sleepy brain. As your brain quiets down during the NREM sleep stage, you aren't dreaming, so sleepwalkers aren't actually acting out their dreams. Mental health professionals refer to sleepwalking as a disorder of arousal, which means that something triggers the brain into arousal from deep sleep, so the person is in a transition state between sleeping and waking. Why sleepwalking occurs is still not clear to scientists, but they do believe it has something to do with the functioning of gamma-aminobutyric acid, or GABA. GABA inhibits the activity of the brain's motor system. Its proper functioning allows you to achieve normal sleep as it regulates muscle movement during sleep. In children, the neurons that release GABA are still developing and have not yet fully established a network of connections to keep motor activity under control. As a result of this insufficient amount of GABA, children tend to sleepwalk, as their motor neurons are capable of commanding the body to move even while sleeping. In some adults, GABA can remain underdeveloped or be rendered less effective due to environmental factors. This is why sleepwalking can persist even into adulthood. If you're a sleepwalker, then chances are that the habit was passed down to you by your family. Studies have shown that if one parent is a sleepwalker, then their child has a 45% chance of becoming one as well. If both parents are sleepwalkers, the child's chances of sleepwalking jump up to 60%. Sleepwalking can lead to some pretty scary situations, but for some people, when they're in the middle of a sleepwalk, they're essentially fearless. For example, a 15-year-old British girl was once found curled asleep on top of a 130-foot tall crane at 2 a.m and a German teenager dove out of a fourth-story window and stayed asleep even after hitting the ground. That is not as morbid as it sounds, he was genuinely just sleeping. And this isn't the only example of this happening. So, if you've got a history of sleepwalking, maybe consider taking some safety precautions. Unknowingly making a midnight snack isn't the end of the world, but swan diving out of a window will probably leave you with more bruises than beauty sleep can make up for.